left um, hip is his, uh, is his saber. As a young man, I um, decided I wanted to be a photojournalist. Uh, later on in my career, I began to realize how important images had been to me. And I started to wonder what my life would have been like without them. And that prompted me to wonder, what's it like for the blind? So that motivated me to develop a printing process that blind people could see. It's a three-step process in which we, in step one, we take any conventional two-dimensional image and we convert it to 3D data. And once that um, uh, data has been converted, we send it to a machine that sculpts the data um, out of a, a block of substrate. Um, and uh, it, it gives that image uh, length, width, depth, and texture. And once that's been sculpted, um, it uh, goes through a printing process where we lay the image back down on top of the relief um, in perfect registration. So what you end up with is a three-dimensional print that has length, width, depth, and texture. It was, it was kind of like opening up a new world, I would say. I've been blind since I was two years old. These things have always been just words to me. Uh, all my life, we've all heard of, you know, famous painters and, 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 their, and their works. But to me, that's all they were. It was just like vocabulary words that I could write down on the page. But I, I didn't necessarily know how to put a physical picture together. And something like this presents that, uh, that, that opportunity, that, that freedom to really get a better understanding. Because it's, it's one thing to have something described to you but if you never could see before, you have no memory of seeing like me, it's a whole different ball of wax when you actually get to touch it.